Greetings and salutations, my dear audience. This is Joe St. Egg Benedictus, just coming at you with a uh, video of my pastor's bag. This is a uh, trend Chad Brooks started uh, about three or four weeks ago. Um, probably one of the nerdiest threads I've ever seen, which I dig. Uh, I totally dig odds and ends, nerdy stuff, especially related to ministry. So I uh, reached out to him and I said, boy, this is really, uh, really nerdy. And he said, you had to do it. So I said, all right. Uh, so here it is. This is my uh, ministry bag. Just want to give a shout out to my pal Mike, to all the visionaries and mystics out there. Thank you for joining me. Let's jump in. This bag is a uh, leather bag, as you can see. It's a, uh, I guess they call it a courier bag. Okay. Lighting is going to be a little tricky. It's beautiful out. It's about, I want to say about uh, 58 degrees, 60 degrees here, and uh, it's just beautiful. I know it's freezing elsewhere in the United States, but it's beautiful here. Anyway, so you're going to have to deal with the elements, the noises, the lighting, and all that. This courier bag is genuine leather, as you can see, uh, and it is about, I want to say about 12 years old. Uh, well, not that old, maybe 10 years old. I just got it from Wilson's. It was about, uh, at the time, about 120. As you can see, after uh, 10 years of use, it's nice and weathered. It um, has this great, uh, very contemporary trim to it. Uh, you see in the back, it has this stain right here, which is, a, I believe, an ink stain or something. I'm not. So, uh, let's get into it, and I'll show you what's in my, uh, my minister's bag. First of all, it has this outside pocket with a handle. And this is really where I just keep my calendar. Now, I am old-schooled, so uh, everything's backwards, too, by the way. That's another idiosyncrasy of this video. I'm old-schooled, so I do everything by paper. Also, in this pocket, I just keep odds and ends. Pencil sharpeners, nerds. I got my uh, spray here. Sanitizer spray from the local funeral home. It's backwards on the camera. I also have a pen, okay? I keep these uh, Sharpies pens, they're really nice. Um, you can get them at the Walmart or something. Another Sharpie when I have to do packages or mailings. Got my church keys, which includes a fob and keys to elsewhere. And uh, this used to be a Honda thing from a local dealer. And really that's it. I also have my uh, name badge. So that is just this pocket. And that's really, uh, really, it's really from a calendar because I have to get quick access to my calendar, either in the office or at home. Sometimes I'm in the car, just reach in the back of the car, grab my calendar, and that's that. In this main pocket, just one big pocket, it has uh, two little pockets here, which you can see are uh, accordion-style pockets, and then one major pocket. This is really designed for... Uh, laptops, but uh, I don't carry a laptop like like those other cool dudes. Uh, by the way, check out Chad Brooks's channel. He keeps, you know, all kinds of cool stuff in his pastor's bag, but then other people in his community have been doing pastor's bags, and I think it's pretty cool. I, I like it. So let's run through these pockets. The first outside pockets, by the way, this is, uh, inside is nice, uh, vinyl-y canvas stuff, and it just closes with two magnets. All right, so one pocket, I have my pocket NRSV with New Testament. Again, apologize for everything being backwards, but this was a great find. It's uh, published by Cokesbury, and I keep this with me all the time, as you can see. Nice, genuine leather, gilded edge, and I think I got it at the used bookstore for 50 cents. Can't beat that. When I found this, I was really happy because it is really hard to come across a nice pocket size, New Revised Standard Version. This is New Testament with Psalms, of course. Brought this in the other day when I was doing a visit for a, a, a hospital visit. It's just easy to carry. It looks good. It's nice and light. And I keep it right here in this little pocket. So it's with me all the time. Also in this pocket, if you look, it has little, uh, you can't really see it, but it has little uh, pen holders and a little holder for sticky notes. So I have another Sharpie pen in there. I have a mechanical pencil, just in case I need a mechanical pencil. In this pocket, I have my tax-exempt forms, because you always need tax-exempt forms when you're purchasing stuff for a church. Um, and nothing really else here other than some business cards that I keep with me. 
So that's really primarily for tax exempt and business cards. Within this main pocket, which is lined, vinyl lined, it has the leather lip here, it has a zipper pouch, and this zipper pouch really, I don't know what's in here because I never really use it. It has some flight information from a last trip I took, considering you have tickets or flight information to keep it within here, so it's nice and secure. And I also have a spare, I have a spare, let me see here, I have a spare Lego, because you never know when you're going to need a Lego to, to hold things together. And I have uh, my hospital badge, an extra hospital badge, my other one's in the car. And I used to have a thumb drive in here just in case I needed to copy something or if I'm on a public computer, but uh, it's not in there now. All right, so in my main bag, this is probably what you're looking for. I have three main things. First thing I have is this beautiful uh, Cambridge portfolio that holds these Cambridge limited notebooks. These are uh, nine and a half by six and five eighths inch notebooks, Cambridge Lim Limited business notebooks. Uh, they have the nice embossed silver there. And then uh, a typical sermon for Sunday, which I hand write every week, is about four, uh, four to five and a half pages. So this particular one is about five pages, primarily outline form. Sometimes I use manuscript. And I will use this until I run out of paper, of course. And then, you know, this just slides in and out. Let me see if I can get that slides in and out. So you, I have been using these books for 11 years. I literally have these black books stacked within a uh, cabinet with every sermon I preached, every Sunday I've preached uh, since I started full-time ministry uh, as a pastor. Not full-time ministry, but a full-time uh, pastoral, senior pastor ministry back in 2010. I've used these books for every sermon. The size is perfect. I can take it with me. It sits up on the pulpit. I open up to my sermon. My Bible will sit up here, and I'll just preach God's Word right from there. Uh, so usually what I do is I have loose leaf paper for notes, read my commentaries, read my Bible, pray, write all my notes on loose leaf paper. So it's, I mean, loose leaf paper you can crumple up, throw away, you can move it to the side, you can put two loose leaf papers together and do all kinds of things. And then on Thursdays, when I write my sermon, I take all of my notes, I take uh, my Bible, and then I transfer those notes into some comprehensive, competent, you know, sermon for a 20-minute sermon is about four and a half pages, and then write it out point by point, outline form. Over here, I have my sermon schedule. Uh, again, it's all handwritten. Um, you know, I, uh, I follow this channel called uh, Simply Analog. Um, or only analog, I'll link it down, it's something analog. And uh, the guy, every video, the guy says, uh, the beauty of analog technology in a digital world. That is me, and I love that channel for that. Got some business cards, just in case somebody catches me at church. This is, by the way, this is about eight years old. Either, I think this is about eight years old, and it just is held up in really good shape. Uh, it's, it used to have a, a ribbon, but the ribbon ripped. It has a little pen holder here if I need a pen. Next thing I have is a folder for a, a, a um, exchange club. Uh, exchange club is kind of like Rotary. It's a, a civic organization we meet once a week, and here I have my directory of all my exchange club, fellow exchange club members. Um, ooh, the wind's blowing, so i got to grab something. Exchange club members. Um, addresses and any paperwork related to that. That's kind of like rotary, uh, so I keep that in here. And then this beauty, this is a beauty, and again I'm, I apologize for it being backwards. This is a beauty. It's a Ampad Gold Fiber Project Organizer. Look at this beautiful thing. And inside you get a box for notes, lines, and then places for dates and titles. This book I keep with me everywhere I go so that I can take any notes, business meetings, committee meetings, uh, thoughts, book ideas, video ideas. But what I have found a use for is, um, is uh, funeral sermons. Uh, when I write a funeral sermon, I really do an outline. Uh, I don't do a full sermon per se because 
my, most of my sermons are outlined anyway. And what this allows me to do is allows me to write the order of worship on one side and my points on the other. So I'll have, for instance, a eulogy and then the name, uh, the uh, opening uh, scripture lesson, which is usually Psalm 23, and then I'll have points and I can write the funeral sermon in point form on this beautiful book. So even though I care, I uh, got this, by the way, got it from Goodwill. I get all my notebooks from Goodwill except for my sermon books. Sermon books I buy brand new, usually uh, two or three at a time. But uh, I usually go to Goodwill's and I look at the off supplies and these spiral bound books at Goodwill, I have one that opens from the top. I have this one, just wonderful things you can get for 25 cents or 15 cents or whatever it is. So I can keep that whenever there's a meeting, funeral meeting, meeting with a family, committee meeting. If, I, if I'm if i in a bind, I use this. I have other tools at church that I use, but uh, I um, uh, when I'm out and about, this is my minister's bag that I use. I really don't utilize a lot of the stuff at church other than the sermon book and the day planner. These things are really when I'm on the go, when I'm on the field. I'll be right back. There's something else that I missed that uh, flew away. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. The uh, the last thing I had in here, stickers. I have a little thing of stickers in here. Why? Because you never know when you're going to need stickers. Everybody loves stickers. You can, uh, if you're visiting a family and there's a kid, you can give them a sticker. Uh, if there's a... Uh, Somebody, you know, and they're showing their uh, whatever project off or whatever, you just give them a sticker. So I carry stickers with me. And there, I'm going to carry it right here, actually. Put it in my Bible. Because you never know when you're going to run into children. So you can keep it right there, right in front of the Bible, in your pocket Bible. Those are Wonder Woman, as you can see. Because I always have something to give to the kids, all right? If it's a sticker or a little matchbox car or something, you always need to keep things like that. Now, uh, the other bag I have is uh, is for my change of clothes because I usually uh, go exercise after church. And that is a beloved uh, backpack that my family got me of uh, my favorite princess, Elsa. So in here, I have all my clothes, my change of clothes. I have a pocket here if I'm ever out and about and I need a, to write a note. But I keep shoes in here, socks, shorts, shirts. And that's my bag for uh, for exercise. I keep that in the car. You know, uh, we're talking about ministers' bags, and I'm doing this because Chad Brooks and so many others are doing it. If my mother said, "Hey, uh, if your friends jump off a bridge, will you?" I'm going to say, "Yeah, I will." 